morning guys, welcome back to today's video. Today is Rosie's due date and she's in labor. We put her in the kidding stall early this morning and I've been watching on the camera all morning and she just started pushing. Sophie has beat me down to the barn. She's there, she's ready. Let's go see what's happening. Okay, so you gotta get the other foot out. You gotta get the other foot out. You want me to do it? You got it, Sophie. You gotta feel around underneath there. I don't know what a foot feels like. Okay, here. Do you want me to do it? You got it. You got it. There we go. Oh, it's so cute. You wanna lick him? It's. I don't think it's brown. It is brown. It's like chocolate. Wipe its face. Good girl, Rosie. She's not caring. She's. It's because she's stunned. Where you are it's so cute. It's a boy, so, I think. What? It has teeth. The other ones had teeth and they're all boys. Yeah. It's a girl. It's cute. No, it's not. It's a... There she goes. Okay, let her have it now. It's a boy. Jesus. <laughs> you got a boy. But he's cute. He's like Rocky. There you go. She doesn't know what she's doing. She doesn't know, but she's getting there. Like, she at least is interested. It was a hard birth for her. That was a big baby. It's probably a shamose. I need the puffer thingy. Yeah, let me so get it. <laughs> it's really cute. I mean, you always think they're cute. I'm trying to get Good girl, push. Rosie. If he's strong enough to push you away, then I don't think he needs it. Well, he's like stuffing. Yeah. Good girl. He's really a sassy baby. He's a what? He's a sassy baby. Sassy yeah. baby? Yeah, he's already on the move. She needed a minute to get herself together. Yeah, she did. So that's why we come and we be here. So we've been watching her on the camera all day, all night. I hardly slept all night watching her on the camera. She was in labor. <laughs> you got boy. Today's her due date. Right on time, Rosie. It's a white one. So look, Sophie, you got to go in there and find the other leg. Find the other leg again? Yeah. Oh. Well, let's give her a minute. No, get it. You got you to gotta help her. You got to... Just find the, put your hands in, put your finger in there. I don't have the right gloves on. No, you just have to go in a little tiny bit and hook the other leg and pull it forward. Yeah, this one's breech probably. That one was. Do you see how you can tell it's breech? The feet are facing down. Pull it, pull it, pull it. Oh. Oh, it's spotted, he, I think. She pooped. She, there's no way it's spotted. It might be just poop in there. Or it could be spotted. If it's a boy, I'm telling you now, I'm giving up goats. If you're just tuning in now for this birth, we've had, this is our fourth. Look at that, it's so cute, that baby's eyes. This is our fourth doe that's delivered this season. And every single baby has been a boy. We have six boys currently, seven boys currently. It has teeth. Oh no. Oh my gosh. We're only having boys this year. That's a shambles, eh? He's cute. Yes, him. <laughs> no way. Yeah, see, that was poop. Oh well. <laughs> him. That's like my crazy laughing. That's a broken shambles, eh? Here, you white. gotta get it out of that fluid there. She wants her baby up there. Just grab it and pull. Oh, pull. Yeah. There you go. What a good mama. What a good mama. Ew, can you pull up my sleeve? Listen to her talk to them. What a sweet girl. Look at me. I match them. <laughs> Look at you. You're covered in shavings. So we got a San Jose boy and then, a, and then it looks like a gold. A gold and white. Gold with white. Yeah, they're cute. <laughs> they're always cute. That one had the most trouble. Yeah, He's bigger. He was bigger, and he came out the right way, though. Yeah, that one came backwards. Oh. So, so <laughs> one leg was out the whole time, and the so, other one was like, "Screw you! I'm coming out first. So the, we never had a single girl this this season. Like not one single girl. We have eight babies, and every single one of them are boys. Oh, darn. Aw, look at him. He loves his mama. Aww. So 
So she's definitely like her mom, and she does faster labors than like our chocolate ones, where it took forever. She was in labor all night last night. I hardly slept, watching the camera all night. And then we put her in here this morning. Look at that. He looks just like his uncle. Does he look just like his uncle? No, it's not his, even his uncle, but he look, he's a San Jose for sure. That looks like Rocky. Yeah, it looks just like... She's a good mama. She loves her babies. Good girl, Rosie. It's so amazing, like, all that pain and suffering, and then just to see their face after. Like, she's she's talking to them, and she's she's happy. He's really cute. But this one's like Winston. That one is like Winston. You could be my mommy. Mm -hmm. This one was huge coming out. Seemed yeah, huge. This but one's tiny. Yeah, they're a huge difference in size. Jesus, those ones look huge. Bobby should have waited another day. I, I know. Hi. See, this one is Winston. Yeah, this one's like... This one's like, hey. Oh, she's going to get up. She should get up in a few minutes and then... Oh, oh, no. Let's do their core. Bobby let's... had to be a boy. Nothing against boys. Look at how strong they are, though. He likes me. Oh. <laughs> this one is cute. You're cute. You remind me of your dad. And Rocky. Well, two more boys. This one's crawling up me. <laughs> I know. It's so funny. It, for you. <laughs> we got no milk. So, all of his babies had bo had blue eyes but they were all boys so that's the problem so we're not using that book again. yeah so we got a new book for next year literally so if he keeps putting this baby back to his mom he keeps crawling on to her she's like let me have my baby if you stand up i'll put him on you well she's she's she had like a really rough birth like her birth was oh <laughs> my gosh it was it was traumatic she just it was her first, she's a first freshener, and the first baby was big, and it had a foot back, so it was but tricky. But this one came out easily. Yeah. And then His this, foot was out the whole time, though. Yeah. He, he was like, I'm coming out. And they were both trying to come out, I think, like, one right on top of the other. So it was tricky for her, and, and that's why we stayed, or that's why we come down here. This is my goat, not, not hers. <laughs> These are my babies, and this one clearly. No, that one likes his mom. This one likes me. <laughs> Oh, you know, put him back there with his mom. His mom wants him. Here you go. You can go with your mom. He's gonna come wandering back over here. Yeah, you might have to stand up. <laughs> He's confused about who his mom is. You gotta you maybe have to. That one's your mom. Right there. That one. Stay with your mom. That one's gonna be trouble for sure. It was like literally born knowing what that, knowing that it wants to do its own thing. Yeah, that one's being good, child. Yeah, he's the devil, but he's good with he's friendly, so that's important. for a few hours and we know oh my gosh we left there for for a short time oh my gosh look at his feet they look oh my gosh they still are that like soft That's, oh okay anyway shush anyway let's see him again oh my gosh he he is so cute he is so cute and he's got those blue eyes you're adorable. That's one good thing about your dad. Put him down. He's so cute. 
the placenta should come out like it usually comes within an hour but it shouldn't you should you should see the placenta within two hours and i watched her on the camera i watched her on the camera deliver the placenta and then he's so cute this he is so here. cute so the anyways i know she delivered the placenta and we can't find it she must have buried it so she's not going to eat it and we see a little lump here so unbury it sophie you and Barry, you're closer. Look at how cute he is. We should spray their umbilical cords again. But look at, he's eating so good. I've been watching, they've been eating. They've been jumping around after they eat. Oh my goodness. So cute. Are you sure she delivered it? I'm sure she delivered it. I saw it hanging from her body. All right, that guy is really getting a good drink. <laughs> My guess is it's behind her. So, oh shoot, I wanted to bring a nice warm washcloth so I could wash her. And I'm going to give her some pain pills because um, this little guy came with one foot back, which can make for a really hard delivery, especially for a first time mom. He tried out his foot for his foot. Yeah, they were pretty much on, one on top of each other. At one point, this guy's foot came out at the same time as this guy came out. Okay, see, he's got, he's a broken chamoise and he's got the number seven on him. Number seven is lucky for us. Are Yeah, Stormy Boy's got a number seven on him. Okay. Look, he's still drinking. No, he's not. He's lying there. Oh, he's, is he sleeping? He's holding his head up. Can I grab him? Yeah, because I'm going to go, I'm going to go get a washcloth. You were really friendly earlier. I'm going to, I'm going to go get a washcloth and a, a warm washcloth and. Oh, he's pooping. Oh, he pooped. Hi, boy. Those first baby poops are the grossest poops. They're so sticky. And somebody in our comments said that they prefer shavings for birth. And I hate shavings for birth. Or I've always thought I hated shavings for birth. Because I see all these babies born and they're covered in shavings. Like it's like blocking their nose. It's all in their face. And she was right. Shavings were the best birthing medium ever. Like they were amazing. He's smaller than the other one. Yeah, he's tiny. I'm not too tiny. All right, let me, here, you stay here. I'm gonna go get, that one. So you stay here, I'm gonna go get a washcloth. If you've ever had a baby, then you might remember how good it felt to have your, to be washed by the nurses right after you give birth with warm water. It's a sure sign everything's working when they take a pee. We should re-spray their umbilical cords. I know, he's really cute. Who would have ever thought a chamoise, I would like a chamoise, but he is stinking cute. Because we already have one of those. Like his contrasting colors are so funny. It's funny how they just put their neck back. But yeah, like he's like so light and then he's so dark too. Like he's Imagine cute. His mom's face. Yeah. Kind of. Anyway, I give her a good wash. She has a little bit of tearing, so I'm going to put some cream on that because it'll really help her heal up. He's really friendly. Really friendly. This is the cleanest they're ever going to be. Yep. What do you mean? Before they lay in dirt and stuff and poo. I know. This kidding stall worked out perfectly for us. And Mama is loving her babies and they are loving her. So she's doing this like talking. She's talking to them, which I love. I know she didn't eat it. I know she buried it. They do bury them. Oh, sure he's going to lay down. Yeah, it's buried in here. I don't want it staying in here. Is it there? I don't know. It's weird. Let's try straws better. Yeah, because they can't bury it as effectively. <laughs> Look at how cute he is. This is cute too, but we already have him. Yeah, we already have one of you. We already have one of you. We have two of you. <laughs> he loves butt scratches. It's funny how, like, they're born already with their personality. You can make a uh, not friendly goat friendly sometimes. Sometimes that's just their personality and you can't fix it like Rosie. Sophie was right. I found the placenta in this little pile here. It's all covered in shavings. He's so sassy. He's but I knew it came out. Some goats will eat their placenta and some don't. Ours have, none of ours have eaten the whole thing. Oh, I gotta name them. I'm gonna show you guys. I have a list of names. I've been storing names on my phone. I'm gonna show you guys in just a few minutes. Can you guys, name the brown one? What do you wanna name him? Milk dud. No. He looks like a milk dud. He does look like a milk dud. These guys have no idea that they are about to be bombarded with babies again. All of our goats had twins. 
or triplets except for one who was young when she got pregnant and uh, she just had one baby so that's all a really good sign she's like let me in i know i love this goat like when you know how like you ride your horse and it changes your relationship you have like such a stronger relationship she likes me the best it's kind of the same when you milk your goat your relationship totally changes she still likes me the best though yeah she does and mocha and tilly hate being milked i'm so proud of you you were a good girl i had my doubts because she's really not a very friendly goat but she was really good she needed us here she was stressed out about the fact that the first guy was really difficult to get out i left posy in the whore in the goat field again so we're gonna wait and see how long it takes till she escapes. It's actually a super sunny, amazing day out here. Sam's cutting the grass and I have two weeks left, maybe one week left before garden, garden season. I'm gonna just spend like 20 minutes and try and get my garden cleaned up a little bit more. And then I'll show you guys the names that I've been compiling. I've been compiling so many names. Every time I hear a name that I love, I've been putting it down. I have a huge list for girls, <laughs> go figure. And I have a list for boys. So I'm going to show you guys and I'm going to let you guys vote and name our boys for us. And just like that, my piggy found me. Time for me to quit. So uh, this is how far I got. I'm, pr I'm proud of it. I think I did like from here over. <laughs> Which is not as much as I did the first time, but I'm hot. And I'm also trying to figure out, do I really need this big of a garden? Definitely not. But... Some of my favorite things to plant are squashes, cucumbers, pumpkins, a lot of things that are like, need a lot of space and are, have like vines. So, aw, you guys, she's running to me. Come on, baby. Come on. Even the goats are all out of the sun. Come on, let's go in. Get a drink and have a rest. To live without your love. It's like I've been waiting around for you. Why did you take so long to 